Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the Yersta engine, 3D Python game engine, and this is tutorial number 12, animation with the sequence function. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some other properties of the Yersta entity, um, and what it has, and how we can animate them using the sequence function. So first, let's open up our blank Python file, and let's import the Yersta module, and create a window. So we can write from here's not import uh, star. We'll create an app. So app is equal to here's not, then app dot run. And now in between this, we'll create an entity, uh, which is going to be a circle entity. We'll name it e1 is equal to entity with the model being equal to a circle. So now let's put this entity in a sequence function. To do this, um, I could just write uh, S1 for sequence 1 is equal to a sequence. First parameter is 1, then a func of e1.blink. Set the duration equal to 1, and set the loop equal to true. So we're going to loop the sequence shortly. So here the loop is equal to true, means that we ha are having an infinite loop here. And the number one means the time interval between the two consecutive loops is one second. The expression of uh, func will call the e1.blink function when the sequence is started, and the duration of the blink is set to one second. So now let's start the sequence and um, the animation associated with it. We just write s1.start. I'll save and run this. And now we have a blinking circle right there. So it's sort of like a blinking eye. So now let's create another entity. So I'm going to create e2 is equal to an entity with the model being equal to a quad. I'll set the color equal to color.orange color.orange, and set the position equal to 3, 0, 0. So we can create another sequence for it and animate the two sequences at the same time. So here I have S1 for sequence 1. I'm going to create S2. And this is another sequence. So sequence uh, 1, func, e2.blink. Also the duration equal to 1 second. And I'll create another function, so func as a second as another parameter, e2 dot shake, set the duration equal to one, and I will set the loop equal to true. Lastly, I also have to set s2 dot start, and if I save and run this, we have two animations at the same time. One of them is a circle in the center that you see is blinking. And the other one is a square on the right, which is shaking and kind of blinking at the same time. And you can obviously see the difference between the two shapes. So now let's add in a third entity. So I'm going to have E3 is equal to entity model is equal to a quad. Set the color equal to color.assign. Set the position equal to negative 3, 0, 0, and set the scale equal to 1, 2, 1. And now for the third entity, we're going to do something a little bit different. Now we're going to make a fade in and out. So I'm going to set or create another sequence. So S3 is equal to a sequence to um, create a func of e3.fade out, so fade out, set the duration to 2 seconds, uh, another parameter of 2, set the function, so e3.fade in, with the duration equal to 2 seconds, and our last parameter, loop, is equal to true. So for this one, we set both the time interval and the time duration as two seconds instead of one second. And actually, 
I'm going to save and run this. And, oops, I forgot. You have to do s1.start. Save and run. And for our three animations, you see each one is unique. Uh, the first one in the center is blinking. The square on the right is shaking. And the rectangle on the left is fading in and out. So now we have three animated entities. And we can also do more. We will add in a user input so that we can control when to start the animation and when to stop. Um, and which entity to animate and which en entity not to. So let's see, I'm going to create a function, find input with the key as a parameter, set the actions equal to, and then this is going to be a dictionary with the actions so one um, the key is going to be one the value is s1 dot start now two s1 dot pause and then we'll have let's say the user enters three s2 dot start four s2 dot pause 5, s3.start, 6, s3.pause. And now if we want to create an if statement, so if key is in actions, then we'll call the actions key. And with our opening and closing parentheses. So now if I save and run this, if I press 1, well, it's already running, so I'll press 2. And now this paused, I press 1 again, and the first animation is resuming again. If I press 2, this um, second sequence should stop, or actually that should be 4. There you go. If I press 3 again, it will resume. I press 2, it will stop. Press 1 or 3 will zoom. And if I press 6, this fading in and out will stop. If I press 5, it will resume. Press 5 will resume. Oh, there you go, it's resuming. And you see that each and every one of these inputs from 1 to 6 does have an action to it. And that's how we can uh, add in user input to control these three sequences. So in this video, we showed how we can use the sequence function in your Sonata engine to animate different states of an entity and control the animation. So this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.